A storm is brewing in the heart of Lagos. The Lagos State Government's recent demolition of structures in the Arojobe and Mende Estates has sparked outrage. Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel. This is Lagos. We dive into the ongoing demolitions happening in Lagos, specifically in the Maryland area. The Lagos State Government says these demolitions are necessary to clear the right of way for the Odoyalaro drainage channel. This, it claims, will prevent flooding. The Commissioner for Environment, Tokumba Wahab, says residents were notified. He claims they received warnings in 2021 and again in November of last year. Apparently, some developers even ignored temporary approvals to build a safe distance from the channel and encroached on the setback area. Residents are furious. They say they were only given two hours to evacuate their homes before the bulldozers arrived. Popular singer Yemi Alade joined the fight calling out the Lagos State Government on social media. She says this discourages investment in real estate and leaves people homeless overnight. Does it make sense that people will invest millions of naira, millions of dollars into real estate, buy houses, buy land, and Lagos State will go and be breaking walls, breaking houses, rendering people homeless overnight, the mayor lady queried. Indeed, videos of demolitions are circulating online, showing people devastated. This situation is clearly messy. The government says it's preventing floods, but residents feel like they are being punished with little warning, with demolitions happening in other parts of Lagos too, many are worried about the future of their homes. According to a woman affected by the exercise, two hours to pack out? Two hours. That was what the Lagos state government gave. And they are here, demolition. Where do they want us to put our property? But Mr. Wahab says the instruction to immediately continue the removal of all structures on the alignment has been given to the enforcement team after the first notice to remove was served on them in 2021 and the last notice was served in November 2023 after the meeting with the stakeholders. As demolitions continued though, residents like Yemi Alade fear for the future. They worry about the impact of real estate investment and the livelihoods of those affected. What do you think? Should the Lagos state government prioritize flood prevention or give residents more time to relocate? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.